Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I am Jeremiah and this is Spoken Word. On today, I want to talk about the Grammys, but in particular about Maverick City and Kirk Franklin. Now, I have no desire to bash Kirk Franklin or Maverick City for attending the Grammys. Even though I know most of us are even questioning why would you want to attend something that you know they're going to be doing devil worship, rituals, and everything else. But my hope or my intention of this video is to help us to look at things a little differently because I have no intention of calling them fake or stating that they sold their souls for a Grammy because speculation is just that. It is judgment made without proof. If they have never come out and said that they have sold their souls to Satan, then I cannot righteously judge them, which is what the Bible tells us to do. It doesn't say not to judge. It says to judge righteously, which means I have to first take the beam out of my own eye and ensure that I am doing right before I go and make a judgment on someone else. And if I judge, it needs to be a judgment because I sincerely hope for them to change, not because I want to see them fail. So what I will speak on today is their lack of speaking against sin or even declaring the name of the God in which they serve. When they were sitting up front, they said, I want to thank God for this award, right? What God? The people in that audience need to know the God in which you serve because I guarantee you the God that Beyonce and other ones said is not the same God that you're talking about. If you're talking about Jesus, then say his name, especially when you're in front of a room whose attention you have in this moment. People love to say that Jesus was around sinners. Okay, fine, cool. But he was also letting those same sinners know that they needed to repent and follow him. These gospel artists didn't do that. Jesus never, and I repeat, never said that we could stay the way we are. Jesus said that change is required. Kirk Franklin said that he just wants to spread the love. But how do you say that you love someone, see the house that they're in is on fire, and not sound the alarm that there is a fire in the house, and if they stay that they will be what? Destroyed. If you love me, then tell me the truth, even if it hurts me, even if it isn't popular. John chapter 15, verse 18 says, if the world hates you, understand that it hated me first. If you were of the world, meaning living like them, then it would love you as its own. But instead it hates you. Why? Because you are not of the world. But I have chosen you out of the world, meaning you are not like them. And verse 21 said, because you are not like them, they will treat you like this, meaning in a bad way, because of my name, since they do not know the one who has sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty. But because I did, they are without excuse. Jesus is telling us that they are without excuse. When those who profess to be believers of Jesus Christ sit back and say nothing, especially when sin is happening before their very eyes, the world cannot be convicted, which is supposed to produce change. When no one is around you to point out the wrong you are doing, it strengthens the hold that sin has on a person. Who or what will separate you from the love of God? If getting a Grammy or keeping money, endorsements, or the house and the cars are what's important to you, then let me make this extremely clear for you. You have already been separated from the love of God because you have replaced God for the idols you are trying to keep. A person who sits back and says nothing isn't persecuted, which means you are not Christ-like because if you were Christ-like, they would hate you too because you are not like them. Instead of Kirk Franklin, for example, trying to show them how to get saved, he performs Michael Jackson moves during worship songs, like people are thinking about Jesus while you're moonwalking across the stage. It's not entertaining, it's a distraction. It makes people think of Michael Jackson instead of Jesus who they came to worship. Jesus called us out of the world, so why are we trying to be like the world? A poet once said, Every time that you walk past someone and don't tell them about Jesus, you are basically saying that I hate you. Because if you believe hell is real, then you don't want anyone to go there. If they love the people like they say that they do, use your platform, use your fame, 
Use your opportunity, this opportunity, to remind them that Jesus requires us to repent. Or at least, in the very least, say his name. Repent means to completely turn away from the sins that we have committed. And let me also say this. Be careful of who you are hanging around. Because they will have an influence on you whether you want them to or not. I was recently at a Maverick City concert they did with Kirk Franklin. And Kirk Franklin was doing the Nay Nay. Which is a dance to celebrate Baphomet. See the pose? He was doing the Nay Nay alone. Until he decided to call Chandler Moore over because he wanted him to dance with him too. At first Chandler was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And he laughed. But a few seconds later, he changed his mind and did the Baphomet dance with him. He did the Nay Nay. Now, I'm not saying that Kurt Franklin knew that it represented Baphomet when he did it. But I am saying that when you let the world teach you and want to perform what's popular because you want to excite the people, you don't know if what you're learning is actually given from Satan. You don't know if it's satanic. You don't know if you're teaching the body of believers who have come to watch you in concert to support you to follow what is evil. Be Christ-like. Teach the world how to be like Christ. Don't sit on the sideline quiet because saying nothing is agreement with the world. Again, let me say this just in case I wasn't clear early in the video. The best thing is probably not to go to the awards at all. But if you're going to make the decision to go, knowing what they do year after year, if you're going to go, go with the purpose of being a witness. You are not being a... You, this is not the moment to be a silent witness that's standing on the wall saying nothing because people will quickly forget that you were even there because they're wrapped up in the excitement of their life and their world. If you want to reach the people and you want to be a witness, you have to open your mouth. Open your mouth and actually tell the world that they need Jesus, that there is an end that is going to come one day. If you see a car coming down the road and I'm standing in the road, are you going to worry about offending me by, and not tell me that this truck is getting ready to hit me? Or are you going to say, I don't care because it's all about saving your life? And are you going to dive in front of that truck and knock me out the way? Or at least at the very least scream that the truck is coming so I can get out of the way? This is all I'm trying to encourage everyone to do. We all know somebody, it's, it doesn't have to be the awards. We know somebody who is not living right. Why is it that we refuse every day to say something to them? There is somebody we could be talking to about God. Tell your testimony. Tell them what you have been through that got you to accept God. Because we all have that story. We all have that testimony. Just as God had mercy with you and allowed you the time needed to, until you were ready to accept him, this could be their moment. This could be their time. And it could happen by you simply opening your mouth. I can't sit here, and I'm not going to be a hypocrite, I can't sit here and cast judgment on Maverick City or Kirk Franklin for not saying the name of Jesus and talking about him if I'm going to constantly pass people in Walmart and different places and not tell them about God. All of us are on that stage. This is everyone's moment. Time is running out. It's our moment to talk about Jesus, all right? If you're going to go to the places, at least speak up and tell them about God. My name is Jeremiah and this is Spoken Word.